So today I got a cute hairstyle video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. It's so cute. I feel like the coolest girl up in this his house right now. I mean, I am the only one in this house. So technically I am the coolest one in this his house. You know, <laughs> is my postman phone ringing? <laughs> anyway, but today I'm actually partnering with Garnier today for this video and I'll be using some of their new Curl Treats products. There's three different ones. Bam, bang, bang. But there's actually a whole bunch of great things about this new line. These products right here are actually 98% naturally derived ingredients. And what that means is they're made out of very, very natural ingredients. They are a biodegradable formula. And they also have no parabens, no petroleum, no silicones, no sulfates, no artificial colorants, and no mineral oils. So these products right here are great for our curly hair. <laughs> they're great. They're great. They're great. But anyway, enough about the products. I'll show you more about it in the video while we're doing my hair. So let's go on ahead and get started with this tutorial. And yeah. Okay, so to start off, I have my hair already washed and combed out. So I got no tangles in this hair. So the first product that I'm actually gonna use is the Garnier Fruit Cheese Curl Treat Smoothie. This smoothie is a leave-in styler, so it's kinda like a leave-in conditioner. It works very well. I love using this product. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of this product and we're gonna go ahead and put this throughout all of my hair. Okay, so after I have that throughout my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair and get it ready to braid. So I'm doing four braids, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by parting my hair straight down the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up one side so it's out of the way. And then we're gonna part half of it in half, but at an angle. So we're gonna start right here at the front, and then we're gonna go ahead and part it back. Okay, now that I got my hair parted ready to braid, I'm actually gonna use the other curl treats. This is the Jelly. This is a shaping product like a gel. I really like the consistency of it. It literally looks like jelly. So it's like a big blob and then you kind of just like, it's just, it's such a weird texture, but I love it. I'm going to go ahead and get this and we're going to put it on the top of our hair so we can like make sure to keep all our flyaways down and then also throughout the hair. So make sure our braid stays nice and tight and pretty full with no flyaways. So we wanna go ahead and brush this hair down so it's nice and sleek. And we wanna to try to braid close to the hairline. So we want our braid to be like here rather than in the middle. And then when you get to right here, once you get to the bottom of the back of your head, like where your hair ends, I'm gonna go ahead and put a hair tie down just to hold it because I'm not braiding all the way down. So I'm just gonna put this in to hold it right now at the moment and then we're gonna do this braid. And then we're just gonna repeat the same steps with the jelly. And then again, we want to braid close to this part, not in the middle. And then after you get down to the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and take out this hair tie. Go ahead and get a ponytail and then we're gonna combine them. And then unbraid that extra braid if you had any. Okay, so now that we have this part done, we're gonna do the exact same thing to this side. Now it's time to braid the last. 
ready? Hey, hey. Okay, so now that I have my braids done, this is how it looks. Something about like braiding your hair like on the bottom of the part rather than right in the middle, it gives it like a different look. And I really like that. So now with these ends, we're actually gonna rebrush them and make them look all nice and pretty and define curls. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-wet them a little bit because my ends are a little bit dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet them with a spray bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair at the ends like I normally do like my whole head because when I use all three of these products together, my curls are super, super defined and I'm like, whoa. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to show you guys how it turns out. So step one, what I usually do is use the smoothie. Go ahead and get some more. Run it all the way through my hair and make sure to get the ends. So the smoothie is the product that I put the most of. So I put kind of a heavy amount in my hair. As you can see, my curls are already looking quite together, way more than they just were. Okay, now step number two is I get this butter. And this product is heavier, so I get a lighter amount. I normally put this product in my dry areas and my dry areas are normally like this part of my hair back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this throughout the whole ponytail just so y'all can see. This product is thick. It's really, it's literally like a butter. So just go ahead and get some of that. Make sure to get it on the inside. And then the ends. And then now I'm going to get my dandin brush. This brush helps my hair with definition like a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run this through my hair with all the products in. Get it nice and defined. Now that I got the product all the way in, then I like to set it with the jelly. I'm trying to show you all the consistency of this. So it's like a big blob, but it comes off of the top. So go ahead and get some of the jelly and then we're gonna lock all of the curls. When I put gel in my hair, I kind of just run it across the outside and then scrunch it a little bit. And then after I got all of the products in, I'm gonna go ahead and get a t-shirt or a microfiber towel and then just scrunch, squeeze it a little bit to get any of the excess product out. And then there we go. Here are the way my curls look right now. So this is how my hair looks right now. I usually let my hair air dry for about 30 minutes and then I hit it with a diffuser to like get a little bit more volume. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and let this air dry for a little bit and then I'll be back when I'm about to diffuse it so you can see. And then from there we will do the finishing touches and all of that. So I will see y'all in about 30 minutes. Okay, so I am back. It's been a little bit. I let my hair air dry a bit. So now I have my diffuser. I have my Dyson. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. And I'm actually gonna use the cool setting. I like to use the cool setting when my hair is still more wet than I wanted it to be. So yeah, I'm just gonna air dry. I'm just gonna blow dry it a little bit. Okay, now that it's a little bit more dry, we're ready to do our finishing touches. So I'm gonna do my edges with my Eco Styler Gel and my little edge brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip my brush in there. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pull out and see what kind of baby hairs will come out since our braid is so low into the baby hairs.
And there we go. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you think this hairstyle is so cute because I do. I'm like, dang, girl. Who is you? Ah, I like it. The little baby hair, the little sideburn curls, you know, pull it all together. I mean, it was already cute, but this just makes it even cuter. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do that right down there. But all the products that I used today will be linked down in the description box below. So make sure y'all go check that out. And yeah, so <laughs> now I'm gonna go take some selfies. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great, wonderful day and I will see you in my next upload. Bye.